Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm talking all about the Jujube Chromatics launch. It is the first video in a series of three, and today we're talking all about the olive color. All right, let's quickly talk about the plan for this week and what is coming as far as content from me this week. Jujube Chromatics just launched last week, so I have my box, I have all of the colors and all of the goodies, and instead of my traditional like big first look video that you guys are used to seeing from me, I decided to break this one up into three. Since there's three gorgeous colors, I thought that each of them needed their own individual attention. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be talking all about this olive color, and I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing a couple of pieces that I don't have packed up in the bag that I'm gonna be sharing with you as far as a packing video today. I'm gonna to give you a little bit of a first look, show you some of my favorite print comparisons because there is so much old Jujube, new Jujube, Toki, like Harry Potter, all that good stuff that matches all of these chromatics so well. So I'm gonna briefly at the start of each video show you a couple of my favorite print comparisons, a couple of the bags, so a little mini first look, then I'm gonna go right into a packing video. I have one bag chosen from each collection or each color, if you will, that I have packed up that I am using, and today I'm actually gonna do the Be Zealous, and I'm super excited about the Be Zealous because I haven't yet shared that backpack here in my channel, so that's gonna be a really, really good one because Be Zealous is one of my favorite bags. So let's go ahead, I wanna show you a couple of pieces real fast that I don't have packed up in the Be Zealous, and the first one is this mini BFF, and I love the mini BFF in this chromatics launch. I just think that it's really classy and sophisticated and a little bit nicer than maybe some of the other super fun like mini BFFs that have come out. This one is one I will definitely carry myself. So this here is, like I said, the olive. I'm gonna move these zippers just to kind of give you guys a little bit better of like a view of the mini BFF. Um, it is so, so cute. I really like it. You have D-rings over here on the side, so you can actually wear the bag crossbody, which is how I will probably mostly wear it, or you can flip it around here and wear the bag um, backpack style. You have one pocket back here, and then in the front of the bag here, you have a zipper pocket, and I will kind of give you a glance in there, and that is just an open pocket. The lining on this olive is a gorgeous champagne kind of color, I like it so much better than like that um, mushroom lining. I think this one is really, really pretty. Um, and then I let show you kind of the inside so that you guys can see the pocket that is in this one. This is what the inside of it looks like. I've done a review um, on the mini BFF all packed up, so I'll link it below for those of you that want to see how this one packs. I also have the B set in this print and. Here's my problem with the B sets. It's not really a problem, it's a, it's a good problem. I love the B sets in this chromatics material. It's super soft and squishy. I think I will use these a lot for myself, like for travel, wear this one crossbody as a wallet, like so many different ways. But there's so much, like I touched on earlier, there's so many prints that look good with these solids that I'm so torn if I want to use one of these um, like chromatics colors and mix and match them or if I want to use the solids and I have to say I'm more inclined to pull out my old like hardcore Jujube from like years ago or even like some of the fun ones and pair it with these solids so that's why I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using this as much packed inside the chromatics bags. I think I'll end up using these mixed and matched into my print bags if that makes any sense at all. I just think that the prints look so good with this bag, um, but that doesn't take away my love for the actual B set of the chromatics because it's so soft and the material is like heaven. So you have a large piece and then of course you have your medium piece, which is awesome. And then you have the small piece. I just love how soft the material is. It's, it's just different. It's not what you're used to for Jujube, but also still has all the same quality and you can still wash it in the washing machine. So this here is the Be Set. Then I have the Be Quick, which is a little bit larger, of course, than the large set piece from the set. I don't use the Be Quicks, honestly. You probably haven't seen them in one of my packing videos in a really long time because I find myself gravitating more towards the sets when I'm packing up. 
Um, the Be Quick is awesome for travel. It's really good for kids' toys on the go. It is the perfect changing bag. So if you have littles that are still in diapers, this is like the way to go as far as packing up um, changing needs and clothes and all of that. With my kids being a little bit bigger now, I find myself using more pouches, so I pack multiples. But anyways, this here is the Quick, and it's still, of course, like that flimsy, not flimsy because that sounds like cheap, but it's like a really soft, like bendable um, material. And then of course the rose gold zipper. The last one I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna dive right into the packing video is the midi bag. And this one is coming this week in another color. I was so torn as to if I wanted to pack this one up in the olive or another one that I have coming and I just decided to go with the Bezelas for the olive because I love it. But I did wanna show it to you on the olive because this one might be coming in the coming weeks as far as the packing video. Also, I have not done the midi backpack yet, so I'm excited to share this one and um, show you guys how I pack this one up. Give you a quick look on the inside. It's a really awesome size. It's a good cross between some of the larger backpacks and the mini B. Um, so this is the back also. I'll show you the, this one has seatbelt straps and they are attached to the back. So quick look, I mainly just wanted to show you guys a couple of the bags that are in this collection. Um, and then, like I said, let's get in and do a packing video on the Be Zealous. All right, before I get into the Be Zealous and show you guys what I have packed up inside, I wanna take just a couple of seconds and share with you the top five prints that I think look the best out of my collection with this olive color. A lot of them, well, all of them, I guess except one, are florals. I think that they look the best with this color and I really like the way that they pair. So we have Sakura at Dusk, which is one that I didn't even, wasn't even on my radar, wasn't even really thinking about it, but the um, green kind of leaves throughout this print look really good with olive. So you have that one there. Then I have Whimsical Whisper, is that what it's called? I always forget this one. This is one of my favorites. Well, they're all my favorites. I keep saying that, but this one looks really good. This is one of like the classic um, prints from Jujubee that I always find myself drawn to like using. So I have that one there. Then I have Midnight Posy, which is another really good one. Midnight Posy looks good with a lot of, um, all three of them from the chromatic line, really, but I love how that one looks. And then I also love the way, which is a surprise actually, um, the way Harry Potter looks with Olive, this Cheering Charms looks so cute because this kind of gold almost doesn't, I mean, it's not green, it's gold, but it looks good against that Olive. And then of course the little um, flecks of green that you have throughout the characters here on Cheering Charms. They just look really good paired with that Olive. And then my personal favorite, I think it's everybody's favorite <laughs> matched up with Olive, but you have Rosy Posy. Oh my goodness. There's been a handful of times that I'm like, you know, I'm not giving Rosie Posey a lot of love anymore. Let's go ahead and um, like de-stash her or whatever. And let me tell you, I, I, I don't think I will ever get rid of it because it's so pretty and it matches so much. And now with this chromatic slime, perma stash for sure. So there you go. There's Rosie Posey. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have packed inside. The Be Zealous is by far my favorite bag out of this entire chromatics launch. I love the way it looks in the olive, in the blush, and in the red. I don't know if it's like the accents of the rose gold zippers or the material of the bag. It is just by far my favorite bag out of this entire launch. I had this packed up this past weekend for me and the kids, soccer games, running out, errands, all the things, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. So let's go ahead and get into the Be Zealous. On the back of the bag here, I'll show you really quickly. You don't have any pockets or anything. You have a nice grab handle here and padded backpack straps. There's pad up here and then at the bottom here, you have almost like a seatbelt material, which makes it really easy to um, make bigger or shorter depending on who's carrying the bag. So I really like that about it. On the side of the Be Zealous, you have two bottle pockets over here. I just have my Diet Coke. And then in the other one, I always have really easy for me to grab a hand cream and a hand sanitizer. Two items I just always keep on the outside of my bath. Then getting into this front pocket of the Be Zealous, you have a zipper pocket here, and then you have the mommy pocket um, directly behind the bag or behind this pocket. So in here, I just have a little notebook. I also have a pack of tissues. How cute are those from Target? And then I also have a pen. Obviously you can fit a little bit more down in there. Um, it's just a nice slim pocket. It does go all the way up here at the top. 
I just have a couple of things in there because I have more inside the mommy pocket. So opening up the pocket directly behind it, you have a nice big, I, I can't say enough about this material, it's just so soft and easy to get in and out of all of the pockets. I have my keys here, not attached to the key leash because I have this big old um, O-Venture key ring so it makes it really easy for me to find them in my bags. So I have that there attached to the key leash though. I always have a hair tie. That's been kind of a trick of mine forever. Then you have two pockets, um, like two little, I guess like slip pockets here in the front. I have a rosy posy small set piece as my wallet with a wristlet strap. Then I have just a couple of things for me, a lip oil, a chapstick. I also have another Aquaphor like lip um, balm and some gum and then that's it. That's all I have in there. Then you also have a big zipper pocket back here. There's actually a lot of room in this pocket because this material being so soft, you can really kind of put a lot down in these pockets, but I don't have anything in that pocket at the moment. Going on into the big part of the bag, actually, let me show you the top here of the bag. You have one felt line zipper pocket, and I love this pocket because you can really put a lot in it that you need to grab for quickly. I have my cell phone um, tucked up there, but most of the time that's on my body. Then I have a scrunchie, and I also have a small Kipling pouch. This is my med kit. I have everything in here that I would need if there's any bumps, like bruises, scratches in this middle zipper pocket. I just have um, a bunch of band-aids and things like that. So medicine and all of the things like for, um, like a med kit is inside this little pouch here. It fits really good up at the top. Then I do want to show you guys a little kind of thing I noticed. I don't know if it's just the material of this bag, but I did want to bring it to your attention. It's not something that bothers me because I love the slouchiness of this particular material. But if you have something packed on the inside pocket, um, the little elastic strips here on the inside, which I'll show you in a minute, and I do have something packed there, it's gonna sag just a little bit here at the top. So see how it's kind of going down? Whereas if you don't have anything in those elastics, it will sit up straighter like that. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so if that's something that maybe bothers you for the bag to lean down like that, just don't pack anything in the elastic part, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. So unzipping the bag, it goes all the way down on the sides. However, you have awesome gussets here, so none of your things are gonna go falling forward. This was what I was just kind of touching on. I have a medium set piece in that elastic part. If I have something like wipes in there, it's not gonna do the same thing. The lighter that you put things in here, the better off as far as it kind of slouching there in the back. Um, once I take out this middle or this medium set piece, it goes immediately back up and kind of holds its shape. So just something to kind of keep in mind, inside this medium set piece is really, really heavy. So like I said, if you have just a pack of wipes, you're golden, it's not gonna do that. But inside here, I have all things like cold and flu to keep the germs away. I have Lysol spray, I have wet ones, I have Clorox wipes, and then I have more wet ones. So it's just like a little wipes bag, and then I have, like I said, like some Lysol in there. I usually have like some trash bags and things like that. Just if we're gonna be out long days, like at the soccer field, and then going out to eat and things like that, I like to have plenty of stock of those type of items. Also, inside the bag, you have tons of pockets. You have two mesh pockets here, on the front of the Be Zealous, and then you have pockets in the back, which I'm actually not utilizing, but I will show you those when I get there. Small set piece right here in this front pocket in the um, Harry Potter Cheering Charms print. And in here, I just have twistable crayons for the kids to play with. In the pocket directly next to it there, I actually don't have them in a um, pouch or anything, because I was just pulling them out as the kids needed them, but I have tons of these color mess markers for them to use in the books that I have packed in there. We are obsessed with those color mess crayons or markers in this house and the paint brushes. They're so awesome for on the go. I tend to always pack them. Then over here I have a large set piece in Cheering Charms and in here I have a ton of toys mainly for my youngest. We were at the soccer field for I'm like almost five hours on Saturday because all three of their games were back to back. So I packed a ton of stuff that my youngest could just pull out and play with on a blanket and then play with at whatever restaurant we went to and all of that. So in here, there's just tons of cars. There's little Lego men. 
There's um, just all of that, like little Paw Patrols. It is chock full of all of that little kind of handheld busy stuff for him. So I have that in that large set piece. Moving on over here, I packed up the Be Cool in the olive print, which I love the way that the Be Cool looks in this chromatics line also. Inside here, I just have um, a couple of baggies for trash. And then when you unzip it, I will give you a shot inside. I have snacks for all of us for pretty much a full day out. I have everything that was packed up in my Be Dapper, which just had all of my snacks inside here, and I could almost put more. I have hand sanitizer here at top. I have an entire package of Ritz crackers, and then I have granola bars and like peanuts for days. So just a bunch of stuff for us to snack on while we're out, especially at the soccer field. Then the last thing that I have in here is in this back pocket of the bag. I don't have anything in these two mesh pockets in front of the bag. I just decided to kind of use these and not these pockets. But back here, I have a ton of on-the-go activity stuff. I have a Sudoku and a word search, a little coloring book that my son was kind of using. I have two different full-size color mess coloring books and paper. I also have a highlights magazine, I have a coloring book, and I have a magazine for me that I actually had at soccer practice last week. So all of that fits inside that back pocket. It's awesome for that. I love how they just slide down in there and I can go ahead and put this over top of it so you can't really see them. They're just like tucked in there and there if I need them. So that's everything I have packed inside this Be Zealous. I highly, highly recommend this backpack, especially in this chromatics line. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will have links in the description box and stay tuned the rest of the week for the other colors in this chromatics line.